Hello, everybody, and thank you for checking out our castle walkthrough of Resident Evil 8 Village. In this walkthrough, we will show you step by step how to get through the castle quickly and efficiently with timestamps in the description if you're looking for anything specific. First thing to do when entering the castle is just to follow the hallway to your left. This will bring you to the main hall, the main hub of the castle. Duke's area and a save point is just to the left, so you will use this often. Go to the front door and read the plaque. This will trigger a cutscene. There's nothing you can do about this. Once you're actually done with the cutscene and you get yourself down by ripping your hand off the hook, use the fireplace in the adjacent room to exit. At the statue door, pick up the maroon ring. You will need this later. Go through the double doors just to your right. This puts you back into the main hall. From here, head upstairs and straight ahead to the wine room. Notice the stand for the wine bottle. This is a key spot we will use soon. Use this room if you haven't already to inspect the maroon key and get the maroon eye. Once you have the maroon eye in your inventory, head out of the wine room and to your left, down the hall to the metal door. Use the maroon eye to open this door. Be ready to run. Run down the white hallway and turn left at the end. Don't worry about the door. You can't open it yet. Once you have turned left, there is a semi-hidden door on the left. Enter it and head to the back of the room and break through the wood. Once you've done this, follow the corridor until you get to the dead end. Use the lit chandeliers to light the two torches. This will open the door to the Chamber of Solace. Just make your way through this dungeon and up the stairs looting along the way. At the top of the stairs, you will encounter one of the sisters. No need to shoot. Just run in this pattern. Go right, then left, then left, then right, then left to find the stairs up. You can get turned around in this area and die if you don't follow that pattern. Which tools do you prefer? From here, it will trigger a cutscene, and in this scene you will shoot a window, causing light to get in and show the sister's weakness. At this point, just shoot her and use the light as protection. After she is dead, head to the next room, the kitchen, and pick up the wine bottle. 
We all know where that goes. Heading out of this area will put you back into the main hall. Head back up the stairs to the wine room and place the bottle on the stand. This will open a secret room and give you the courtyard key. To get to the courtyard, you want to head down the stairs and to your left, across the room to the dining room doors. Be quick because the sister will be after you. Head in and unlock the courtyard doors. Once in the courtyard, head straight across to the other side and turn right. These doors will be open for you to enter. Once in this area, sneak upstairs and head down the hallway until you get to the wood door. Enter here for the next puzzle. This puzzle is quite easy. First, turn the maiden to the right. Then, turn the lady to the left. And finally, turn the three men to the right. Do not touch the man on the horse. This will drain the pool and give you access to the stairs. Head all the way down the stairs and ladder until you get to the wine cellar. Here you will just need to fight your way through a small maze as you loot the area. Once out of the area, just use the dumbwaiter to end up on the balcony. On this balcony, there is a save point just to your left inside the room. Use it if you want. Proceed across the balcony to trip a cutscene. After the cutscene, enter the room and grab the key off the light. Where are you? Use that key to open the door, which will enact another cutscene. Once you're able to play again, make your way through the tunnel and open the gate. As you walk to the next lever, get familiar with the looping corridors as you will need them to escape. Activate the lever and you are caught. Use the corridors to double back to the lever and get your hand. If you're quick, you can do it in one loop. Or you may need to go again to open the door. Oh. 
Once out of the gate, just continue fast down the stairs and to the next room with the Mask of Sorrow. Pick it up and you will be taken up to the courtyard. Go back in through the dining room into the main hall to place the mask on the statue. You can also use this time to see Duke just to your left and a save if needed. After this, you'll want to head back upstairs to the right and into the maroon eye door again. <laughs> Go down the white hallway until you get to the door that was previously locked. Once in this door, you can pick up the mask of pleasure, but the exit will be blocked with a gate. You must exit through the fireplace. Head into the armory and loot up as the second sister will be waiting. Slide the shelf to reveal a hole in the wall and blow up the wall. How's it feel? This will allow light to enter and make it pretty easy to kill the sister. Once defeated, grab the animal skull from above the fireplace. Head back down into the other room and inspect the animal skull. Place the animal skull on the statue and this will allow you to exit through the door you entered. Head back down to the main hall and place the mask on the statue. Again, if you need to, visit Duke and hit a save. Once saved, head back out and into the courtyard through the dining room. Go to the door to the left and enter with the key. Once in this area, head up the stairs and to the door to your left. First here, you will want to head to the left side area room to get the flower swords ball. You can use this in the room with Duke in the castle labyrinth. Next, head to the other side of the balcony and down the stairs to the piano room. Solve the easy piano puzzle to get the iron insignia key. Use this key back upstairs to exit the area. Once through this door, it will initiate the final sister battle. Run quickly straight ahead to the pillar with the lever and pull it. This will let in light and you can quickly kill the sister. She will try to shut the light off and you may need to reopen it if you're not quick enough. Once she is dead, head through the double doors and grab the Mask of Joy from the statue. Then proceed through the metal doors into the next area. In this area, you will need to activate the five bells to open the exit. One bell is above the cabinet. 
The second is on a table. The third is in the gears. The fourth is in the chandelier. And the fifth is outside of the window. Once that is done, head through the exit and up to the attic. Make sure to get the treasure map as well as the sniper rifle in this attic before exiting onto the roof. Once on the roof, you need to proceed along the outside ring in a counterclockwise direction until you can get up and over the roof line and up the stairs. Proceed to the right at the top of the stairs and use the zip line to drop into the area with the Mask of Rage. Okay, I should be able to get out with this. Once you have the mask in hand, head down the ladder and down the elevator. You will now be in the room you first entered the castle in. So head through the door and down the hall and to the right and you will be in the main hall and able to place the last two masks. Congratulations. At this point, you just need to exit the doors to leave the castle. But beware, Demetrescu is waiting and is ready to fight. Use this time to save and maybe loot the castle more if needed and complete the treasure map because once you leave, you can't get back. <laughs>